my turn? Yeah. You can go. Do. Yeah, which one are you going to do? Thank you for this. Okay, I'll go first. Come on, I did this one. Who? Oh. Good job. Okay, now it's your turn. Oh, hey kids! We're playing Jenga because we thought it would be the perfect game to illustrate... <gasps> Our lesson on self-control. You have to make slow, careful movements so that you don't knock all of the blocks off. So, we are learning about our last fruit of the spirit today, which is self-control. Say it with me. Self-control. Good. So, let's go over all of the fruits that we have done so far. We have learned about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, Goodness, faithfulness, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Now, before we start, we go over our four rules that we have in kids. And these four rules are still things that you should be doing in your home. Number one is... Be. be say it. Be kind and include others. That's right. Rule number two is... Ah. Listen and obey right away. Number three, be safe, especially when you're playing at home. Please be safe. And number four is have fun. That's right. So we're going to keep moving on. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time that we have together to learn more about you. We just ask that you would open up our hearts to receive what you have for us today. In Jesus' name, everybody says, Amen. All right, let's put this back in here. All right, so we are moving on. We have our memory verse here, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And that's from the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. But what does the Bible actually say about self-control? We're going to get our mouths ready. Ready? Give them some exercises together with me. Okay. We are going to say a word in Greek. You can do it. Are you ready? Okay. This is the word. The Greek word for self-control is enkratea. Ready? Let's say it together. En. Enkratea. Which actually means possessing power and self-controlled. And some people who study the Bible also say that it means to hold your passions and your desires in your hand. And as we get older, we start to look at how we feel and act. And, and we can start to allow the Holy Spirit to show us the right way to live. It's like when you feel a certain way, like you're feeling yourself act, starting to feel a certain way, you can kind of like put it in your hands and look at it and study it and go, huh. Is this how I should be acting right now? Um, should I be screaming and throwing a fit? Should I? No. Hmm, no, it's probably not a good idea. If I'm feeling angry, that's probably not a good way, to, a good idea to act that way. Um, should I be yelling at my brother? No. Should I be biting my brother or kicking him? No. No. Those, that's not showing self-control. So as we get older, we get, we get better at this. The Holy Spirit grows this in us. But do we always get it perfect? Do even adults get it perfect? No, no, we do not. But we ask for forgiveness and we make it better with that person. And then we start fresh, right? So let's take a look of some, can you think of some ways that you can show self-control? <gasps> to show self-control, yeah. I'm going to get my handy-dandy, sparkly, special ideas pen. All right, so you can show self-control by being patient. Yep. Um, you can also show, show self-control by not complaining. Emma. Do you have another one, Miles? What's another one? Wait for something. <gasps> To wait. Yes, if you have to wait for something, that's a good way to show self-control. Um, what's another way to, how about um, making healthy food choices? Yeah. That's a good idea. That's a good way to show self-control. How about um, also 
my god, well, you got another one? Okay, what is it? Be safe. <gasps> to be safe? Yeah, okay, so that means we're not acting in crazy ways and yeah. running and jumping off of things and breaking bones in our bodies or hurting ourselves, right? Yeah. That would be self-control because if you feel like being crazy, you're going to choose to be safe. Not complaining, wait, not hitting. Oh, I got one. You got another one? Okay. okay. What's another one? Do not hit. Do not hit. Not hitting. That's right. That's okay. right. Okay, so we're going to end it there. We're going to put our ideas pen. Want to feel it? It feels very fuzzy. We're going to put it away. All right, we're going to... Go to the next one here. We're gonna we're gonna go on to the next thing, okay? Come have a seat. So let's take a look. I'm gonna read you a verse from Proverbs about what it says when you let anger take control. The it says here in the Bible, right here, if you live without restraint or without control and are unable to control your temper, you're as helpless as a city with broken down defenses open to attack. Do you see that wall? There's a massive hole in it. That wall is protecting things that are valuable, things that are important. And if you let your temper or your actions go out of control and you have you don't rein it in, you're going to be opening yourself up to and some, you're gonna go in. some not good things, and right? You're gonna go be into opening it. up to attack. So God wants us to be protected. And when we have the Holy Spirit living in our hearts, he helps, he helps us to grow in self-control. Now, as I was getting ready for this lesson, guess what I was learning about? Did you know that there is a lion tamer in South Africa who's a teenager? Look at this guy. He's literally tamed lions. I can't even believe it. Like, people can tame elephants, they can tame tigers and lions and wild animals. But you know what a lot of people have a hard time taming? I'm gonna, we're going to do a guessing game. Are you ready? I want you to guess. It's a part of your body. It's an e small part of your body that helps you with chewing food and all of that and and it's in your mouth what is it what's your guess your tongue your tongue that's right take a look your tongue everybody go <laughs> now everyone gets angry sometimes and when we don't have much self control sometimes we can let words come out of our mouth and words that we blurt out that we can actually regret or words that can actually really hurt somebody. So James chapter three says this, we must not sin when we feel angry. So that means we need to think before we act. So today we're gonna do a fun experiment to show you what it looks like when you let your temper, so if you, your feelings get out of control. And I believe that the Holy Spirit is going to work on this in all of our lives. So let's take a look. We're going to get ready for experiment. When you do an experiment, you have to have special glasses on. And if you want to do this experiment at home, you can. You just need a tray. You need white vinegar. You need baking soda. Soap. And food coloring, just for fun. And we're going to pretend that this glass here is us. Okay, so this is us. The water inside is us and our feelings. Let's put some food coloring in, Miles. Really quick, which color are we going to do? Blue? No, red. Okay, want to mix them? Yeah. Do you know what blue and red mean? Purple. You want to be purple? Okay, I'm going to add my drop of blue just for fun. You don't have to use food coloring if you don't have any at home, but it's always more fun with food coloring. All right, so we've added that in. We're going to stir it up. Put your goggles on. Gotta get your goggles on your face. Okay, because this is gonna be an explosive experiment. All right, so this is us with our feelings here. They're calm and they're happy. Yep, you can add it. You can add another one if you want to. And next step, we are. You want to put the red lid on? Okay. So let me just see. Next step, sprinkle in the. Baking soda. It says two tablespoons. Wow, there's a chocolate chip in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to add in whoop, one. I'm just guessing, guessing. Okay, one, two. We've got two. And uh, this water, the water inside here is, is just warm water. You can use hot, but if you're doing it with children, I recommend just 
sticking with warm. All right, we've added in our baking soda. And we're going to, we've got our coloring, we've got our baking soda. We're going to add about three or four drops. Bloop, 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 bloop. I don't know, probably bloop, 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 bloop. maybe a little bit more of uh, that. Okay, you want to do one more green? You can do a little bit of green. Sure. Put that in. And this is what we're going to get ready for the fun party. You ready? Okay. Okay, quickly put it in. Let's go to the next one. We're going to add some yellow. This is always a fun experiment. Baking soda and vinegar. Oh, here, let me help you out. Here we go. Da 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 da. Blip, blip, blip. Got some yellow in there. The lots of colors. We, we did decide to do the entire rainbow here. <laughs> All the colors. Good job, buddy. Are you ready? Okay. Now comes the fun part. All right, ready? Whoa! Oh my goodness! Look what happened! What happened when we let our feelings get out of control? Oh my goodness, it's even like slimy a little bit. If you feel it, it's kind of slimy. It actually made a pretty big mess, didn't it, Miles? And you know what happens? When we let our feelings get out of control and we don't tame them, like we're taming a, a wild animal, then it gets pretty messy. And sometimes we have to have other people come and help clean up that mess. You can't really see it because it's all in the tray. But do you want to know what the good news is? Is that God actually loves cleaning up messes. And that's why I love him so much is because he loves coming into our lives when he sees a big mess or we made a mistake and it was a really big mess and he loves coming to help clean it up. So, that concludes our lesson, object lesson here on self-control. So now parents, you're going to take it from here. The Bible story that you're reading today is called Let's Go from the Jesus Storybook Bible. And if you don't have the physical Bible, I'm going to be recording a video uh, of myself reading this for you so that you can have this to do at home. <laughs> and there's fun soapy water. And that's all for now. So let's pray. Miles, we're just going to pray. God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit, that you're helping to teach us that you're the best person to come clean up messes and that we can come to you even if we've made a mistake. We love you, Jesus. Help us to grow in self-control this week. In your name we pray. Amen. Awesome. So we're going to say bye. We're going to sign off now. We'll see you later. We love you all.